What's up, y'all? Gerald here, creator of Gospel Chops and your host for this YouTube channel, back with another video. Now, if you follow my main channel, then you heard me say at the end of last year, I thought there, that I thought there were going to be some problems in 2024 because it's an election year and you know how people get in election year. We all run to our corners and situations get so thick that it could be brother against brother, friend against friend. Black against white, gay against straight. You know how it goes. But I predicted this because I sensed it in my spirit that the political climate was getting out of control and reaching a boiling point. Well, here we are one week into the year and the Democrats have rolled out the old heads, y'all. The congressional black Caucasians. Yes, that's right. They resorted to the old playbook. And when I say old, I mean old. This man here is older than a president. We know that the president can't handle himself. Acts like he doesn't know what day of the week it is. This man here, Mr. James Fish Fry Clyburn from South Carolina. They done rolled out the fish fry man, y'all. <laughs> and this is why when I talk to young people, I always go hard and tell them to train. And whatever it is you want to be, make sure you train, you study, Make sure you know that thing like the back of your hand, because when we get in situations where things get tight and we don't have time to think, we revert to our training. And what are the Democrats doing in this tight situation as 2024 has kicked off? Ah, they reverted to the old playbook. <laughs> Let's bring out the old congressional black Caucasians and have them rally the black vote. Mm. Sorry, y'all. Not this time. There's a new generation rising up. And we ain't voting for that Democrat plantation that our parents voted for to their own detriment. That ain't us. We've learned. We know better. And when you know better, you do better. Let's check out this video of James Fish Fry Clyburn addressing some concerns and questions that were thrown at him by the CNN host about the black vote in 2024. Check it out, y'all. Wrong video. Sorry, y'all. Let's try that again. Check it out. Former President Obama met for a private lunch with President Biden recently uh, to express concern about how Biden is managing his reelection bid. This comes as President Biden uh, is struggling to solidify support among black voters, uh, including on that trip to South Carolina. Obviously, you were instrumental in Biden getting the Democratic nomination. Obviously, black voters uh, were instrumental in President Biden getting then Senator Biden or then Vice President Biden getting the nomination in 2020. H how worried are you about black voters showing up for President Biden in November? Well, I'm not worried. I'm very concerned. And I have sat down with President Biden. I don't know. I saw those reports. I've also seen at least one report indicating that I have sat down uh, with President Biden, and I did uh, with him, uh, and I've uh, told him what my concerns are. I have no problem with the Biden administration and what it has done. My problem is that we have not been able to break through uh, that MAGA wall in order to get to people exactly what this president has done. Wow, Mr. Fish Fry. You have no problem, no problem whatsoever with what this administration has done with the situation it has put the black community in with record energy prices, record gas prices, record food prices. Wow. These are your elected officials, y'all folks who've been sitting in Congress for decades. <laughs> we ain't listening to these clowns no more because we understand what we need politically, economically, socially. We know what we need in order to better our situation and y'all ain't been providing it to us, Mr. Fish Fry. So I don't think we are gonna vote for your candidate this time. And for the record, I am a registered independent. A lot of y'all like to call me MAGA and right wing and Republican. I ain't none of that. A 
think for myself. I do what's best for myself and my family. That's why I voted for Donald Trump twice. And before you jump off the ledge and call me all sorts of names, I also voted for Barack Obama twice. Because at the time I thought it was in my best interest. And I walked into that booth and I prayed to God. I closed my eyes and I said, God, don't let this nigga mess this up because if he does, we'll never get another chance. Excuse me, y'all. That's what I said. That was my prayer. I prayed to God for that. And I voted for Barack Obama. Because I was proud to see him in that position running for president of the United States for the first time. But oh, did I come to understand that the color of the president don't make no difference. So if the brown man don't make no difference, I guess the orange man don't make no difference either, right? Because it's not about the color. It's about the policy. And when I counsel kids, I want them to be successful. So I try to give them those nuggets that I've learned along the way that might help them in their journey to find success, however they might define that in their life. The definition is theirs, not mine. But a little nugget, a little nudge, a little help, a little information can help you along the way as you traverse this life. So let me tell you what I like to see, y'all. I like to see more black folks with education. I'd like to see more black folks with successful careers. I'd like to see more black folks with higher incomes and the middle class and the 1% income wise. But under this administration, I haven't seen any helpful signs that that's going to occur. I see an administration working against black folks, an administration that's contributing to the plight of the black family, advocating for alphabet people, governmental dependence that pushes fathers out of the home so that the mother can get a government check. Is that what we want for our society? Is anybody trying to do better? Is anybody trying to be better? Let me know what you think, y'all, because they rolling out the old heads on us, the old playbook. They think it's going to work again. <laughs> Fool me once, shame on you. But our parents got fooled over and over and over and over and over. It's time to change that, y'all. I need you to be a little selfish this year and vote for your own self-interest. Vote for the interests of your family your economic interests. I need you to be able to buy a house. I need you to be able to buy a car. I need you to be able to start a business and grow it. And this administration has not proven to me that they agree with those sentiments. So we ain't voting for them. What you think in 2024? I know we just got here, but I expect it to get much worse as this year progresses. Let me know how you feel about this issue. <laughs> And then rolling out these old timers to try to tell us what we should do and who we should side with, who we should be along with. Mr. Clyburn, you might want to go talk to Charlemagne because I believe he's in disagreement with you in this here 2024. Y'all like the video. Subscribe to the channel and share the video so we can get more people involved in the conversation, y'all. And like I always say, always remember and never forget, without the gospel, it's just chops. Until next time. Peace.